I know what you're going to say, Kobe, Michael. Well, this is a, an interesting situation because about uh, 2000, I had the team, I was still probably 99 when I'm coaching the Lakers. Michael's out, he's been retired for a year, and he comes to a ball game and I said, let's meet in the uh, you know, chairman's room after the game. I want you to talk to Kobe a little bit. He, he it tends to take over a game you know, at a certain time in the game. And, and I think that, you know, if you convince him to just wait, just be patient, allow the game to kind of come to him when it's necessary for him to do some things because the team kind of loses their offensive direction. So I get in the, this room and he sits down and he goes, first thing Kobe says is, I could kick your ass one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> <laughs> but not even letting him get anything out. Yeah, there's up. no conversation. What did Michael say back? He might. You, you might? Just he might. said you he might? Said, yeah, he said, I've been on the game a couple years. You just might. So who wins? If you have to pick. No, nah, it's it's going to be MJ. He's got that hand. He's got yeah. that, the glove, as the glove <laughs> used to be known. But when a guy can pick the ball up with one hand when he's dribbling like you know, Michael could do and do that and take the ball to the basket, it's very difficult. Michael Jordan is like... For basketball for me, he's the end-all be-all. Like, he's the best player I've ever seen. I believe he's the best player I'll ever see. I believe he'll be the best player a million years from now. I really believe that. I believe he is the best ever. What do you think about it? Like, what, if you had to sum it up? Because I try to explain it to my wife. You right. You never see him play. Right, well, put it like this, and, and best point this out to me. Michael Jordan is so good that when somebody else is the top of the top, the great in their sport, they'll say, David Beckham is the Michael Jordan. I want to ask you who you would rather play with, and that's interesting to me that you would yes, pick LeBron. I'm who would going, you rather? I'm going with Jordan. You'd rather play I mean, with Jordan. I, How I'm, come? I don't. I, I just Jordan is the is the greatest player to ever play the game. You know, he demanded so much from his teammates. He may not have elevated his teammates with his passing, although he was a great passer. He elevated he elevated his teammates with his demeanor, with his attitude. You took on the personality of Michael Jordan when you were out. Indeed, there, and it. it made the team a lot better. It was like, if George is not going to take stuff, I'm not going to take anything. That in itself, in the attitude and demeanor, makes what, you a better take team. Take yourself, your personality, what you bring. You, you going to sit back and, and watch MJ, or you want to play with somebody that will defer well, to you at times. Yesterday we he's had... not going to defer to you now. Right. I'm talking okay. about that somebody that is great in his own right, and he'll sit and, and let you do your own thing and won't hog the ball. If, if it's about winning, and I know Jordan is a superior talent than me, Pete, I have you to watch stop the greatest right show on Pete, earth. Does Ron have to do something, or can he do something where you would go, now I would look at him as the best player? Uh, n no, I think he he certainly, um, you know, just off the cuff, he's certainly the top five of all time. Uh, but playing against him and MJ, I think, for me, it's MJ all day long, only because how I, I played against him. And, you know, MJ just had everything, you know, from mid-range to three-point to post-up game, and he could score and dominate in each position. Uh, LeBron is dominant. LeBron could do uh, so many things uh, on the floor. And do you think LeBron's a better all-around player than Jordan? Um, it's hard. That's hard to say because... You know, LeBron is probably one of the best passers, you know, that the league has seen. Um, MJ is probably that's probably the weakest part of his game. You know, he didn't he didn't uh, pass a lot, but at the same time, you know, MJ didn't have any other weaknesses in his game. And defensively, he he was a two way player. Defensively, he was incredible and just a dominant. I really like Michael Jordan. He and I are friendly, mm -hmm. and uh, he never changes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, he just doesn't change. He's the same guy all the time. And I still see him every once in a while. And this guy has done more spectacular things than any basketball player I've ever seen. I agree. I mean, that, that, that's, Jerry, I that is saying a lot. I agree. Consider I've ever seen. That, you've seen a that, lot. I, I, I know. I mean, <laughs> just to go, like I said, we've, we've worked backwards, obviously, from where he is now to where you were as a player. That that speaks volumes, especially, I mean, number of years with the Lakers, player, visor, I mean. You know, Terrell, the thing that people don't realize is some of the stuff he could do. He was the best defensive player in the league. Yeah. Oh, he was yes, playing. absolutely. He was the best offensive player. No, right? man.
then Kobe, then Braun. Braun is the best all-around player we've ever seen, but he hasn't passed Kobe as Jordan, my opinion. But I played. How do you, how do you, what do you think Jordan will average? Where do you think he would fit in? He, he can adapt his game to anything. He would fit in as the best player in the league. Like, <laughs> that's where he would be. And, you know, I feel like if he'll have more possessions to do more things, but there's also more athleticism in his game. And there's more length in his game. But, you know, it's, it's also in more space for MJ to go to work. So, I mean, we'll never know. But for sure, I mean, he's a master you know, masterful basketball player, like we've been saying, his skill level is unmatched. So, of course, I, yeah, I, I think there needs to be a line in the sand and, and no more comparisons because it, it just can't be. You, you know, Jordan didn't come straight out of high school. What if Jordan would have played two more years? Jordan played in a different era, you know. I, so I, I'm i kind of uh, worn out of the comparisons because I just, I think you still have to talk about him being better than Kobe. You can't just jump up to Jordan. I don't think numbers just mean it. And I think maybe he is the greatest teammate of all time instead of individual players so when you get into the weeds of it i've heard some really good arguments and i can agree with those but the overall arguments I i'm not sure because one day durant's going to break all of those and i think durant will actually break kareem's record so uh it, it means a lot um that he did that and I'm, I'm congratulations very happy for him but it doesn't do anything in the argument of who's better to you mentioned mj and right. mj has you know often called you like one of the toughest shooting guards he, you know, he had to defend. had to defend. Right. Yeah. What was it like going against MJ? Right. Uh, first, first time seeing. I mean, well, I watched him in college, but I was right. in JUCO at the time, man. But first time actually seeing him live in front of you, mm -hmm. he was cat quick. Mm -hmm. and really? Yeah. At that he, size, he was cat quick, and he, it, it was, he had the ability to take one dribble and you try to get there, and he was in the air already. Mm. So. You know, you had to do a lot of freaking <laughs> film work on him because he had every move. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and he can get by you with one step. And once he get by you, he's taking flight. But one thing, him, he, you know, you know he was going to come at you each and every night. Every and, night. And, and, you know, Kobe had that same thing that, you know, and I think all the great ones have it that they're thirsty to score. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's like, I got to get it. You know, yeah. I got to get that bucket. And right. the defenders be like, God damn, this dude is crazy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, you got to have that that mentality. There's been a lot of debate about, you know, who's the great, who's right. the greatest of all time. Obviously, a lot of people, they just overlook what Kobe has done. And, mm -hmm. you know, obviously, LeBron is great in his own right. right. Do you consider MJ the, the GOAT? Of course. Absolutely. Uh, of course. Yeah, I, I mean, I... I went up against him each and every night. Right. You know what I mean? So And then you played with Kobe at the yeah, Lakers. I played right. with Kobe and Kobe was I mean, he's 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 in that level. No question about it. But but Mike was Mike changed the game in so many other ways, not only on the court, mm -hmm. but off the court. So that's it for this video, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure I smash the like button. Let's see if we can hit 100 likes. And also subscribe to the channel to catch all the new content. We will be releasing daily videos for all of 2022, like I said. And also make sure to let me know down in the comments below what you thought. I will be responding to all the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day.